Okay, so today I will show you how to achieve uh, effects from uh, my Instagram's work. You can see it, uh, it's just like a glitchy moving uh, rectangles or something like this. Okay, so uh, I gather one uh, texture right here and I need to create ramp uh, with resolution 1280 by 1280 and change its period to uh, something small like this and now I uh, need to create switch and uh, composite uh, I want to the um, image from here to be uh, similar to this ramp so uh, I just multiplied uh, this by uh, this ramp so I got this lines right here so when I uh, switch it's not uh, a really big difference you can see okay uh, so now mm, I want to create random uh, number generator so I will do it by creating noise uh, chop uh, change uh, to time slice and uh, click re reset right here so I have uh, only one value per uh, sample and uh, now I need LFO with type pulse and create counter create null and uh, link it to a seat value right here okay and I can uh, create math chop right here change a range uh, from minus one one to uh, zero to four uh, but I uh, must connect it two more times because uh, I want to increase the probability of uh, of taking this image right here okay now as and I can also uh, change integer right here to sailing to get uh, clearly a value right here I can connect it right here to index and uh, make frequency of this LFO to something like uh, 8 okay uh, so this multiply make my uh, image darker so I n want to uh, change it brightness to something like 4 and make it smaller and so I need transform top and change scale to 0.2 okay so now I need to add another one uh, transform or uh, maybe null right here and transform right here uh, and create another one, uh, random number generator, um, because I want to uh, make this image move around. So I'm going to create uh, something like 15 noise channels to get an, uh, uh, to get another values right here okay and change it to time slice and uh, just reset like the previous one and uh, now add the filter right here and uh, null right here Okay, so uh, now I can connect it to translate 
the second value from this to a y value in this translate. Uh, but now I uh, I want to control it by my keyboard, so I creating this keyboard uh, in chop and uh, out counter right here and null and link it to seed value on my noise. So now every time I click one position of uh, this image will be different. Uh, I can achieve this by, by this filter because when I bypass it, when I click one, it's only change its value and with this filter it's, uh, it, it's way smoother. You have this uh, values between new noise values okay so uh, I can add a map right here because uh, my image sometimes uh, is moving out of the border right here uh, so I can change uh, range from minus one to one to something like minus point uh, point six two point six okay <sighs> and now I can copy it a few times okay and now I can change uh, this channel here and here okay so they are changing position every time I click one Okay, the next step is uh, I want to every time I click one to change the color of these operators here. So I need to add HS file adjust and uh, add map chop right here and change its range from minus one, one to minus. 360 to 360 and, and null and link it to hue offset right here and I will do with the rest of these uh, okay to three and four uh, okay mm, next thing I want to do is uh, to change its size every time I click one so I need to add another one transform and another one math so and this time I need to change it to something like 0 0.6 to 1 and add null and just link it right here and the second one right here so I I got more rectangular shapes Okay, just copy it, and paste uh, like this. Connect it right here and change it to the other values. Uh, 
right okay so the next step uh, I need to create a feedback loop so uh, I need a feedback transform and HS file adjust right here comp site and link it Add operation over okay and I want every time I click one to uh, move the image in the random way so uh, I need to create another one map right here change a range from minus one to one and something really small like like this okay no not it here okay so uh, it's moving but uh, I don't want to get that blurry uh, image when it moves so I need to uh, change this input smoothness to nearest pixel so when I restart it so now it's just look fine okay and uh, 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 next step is to change uh, feedback color over the time so I need to add another math uh, and change value from minus one one to uh, minus three to three uh, I can uh, change integer to sailing as well okay and I can uh, link it right here to Q offset in my feedback okay so when it uh, have a value one or two or minus one minus two uh, etc it will uh, change the color when its uh, value is higher then the color is uh, changing uh, faster okay so I'm uh, going to uh, copy my feedback loop to this transform tops right here and be right back okay so I just copied my uh, feedback loops and uh, I just ch change uh, values here heading one and uh, here in the hue offset to the other channel you know uh, and in this one and this one mm, transform I swap uh, uh, my value to T Y uh, axis right here uh, so this one is uh, moving in the X and this one in the Y you know okay so uh, I need to create null right here right here right here and right here oh, and here okay and I just compensate it with over I got something like this I can change it uh, resolution to uh, quarter so I got this low fi vibe and uh, now I can make it uh, 1280 by 1280 just to get uh, my future uh, effects on image 
to be in the higher resolution. Okay. Uh, so now I can create noise stop and change its resolution to uh, 1280 by 1280. Connect it right here and change its amplitude to uh, 1 to get uh, a black background. And uh, now I can make it composite right here with multiply to get uh, this noisy effect. And uh, now I will add a level on it and another one composite. And this time with add right here and changing this level to something like something like this okay uh, the next step uh, I want to uh, can reset my feedback uh, feedback right here because now it's just adding all the time when I click one uh, so I Got to link it uh, all over my feedbacks here. here. Here and here. Okay, so every time I press two, it will be new image. Okay. And now I'm clicking one to uh, change its position. Okay, so the last step uh, it will be uh, creating a feedback loop just with uh, composite and operation over right here. And I can connect this uh, keyboard in as well to this feedback I'm going to add RGB key to have uh, a black background and no to watch it okay so now when I clicking one uh, my image is drawing okay Okay, uh, so you can also experiment with uh, this filter right here uh, and change it to, I don't know, sharpen to get the other types of movement. Uh, all the time I'm clicking one you can see here okay so uh, that's all from me uh, so thank thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next tutorial